Welcome back to episode two of season three of Three Growlers. Today we're going to be talking about uh, spring and summer seasonals, and we're going to be talking about Kolsch's and Saison's and all sorts of great uh, beers. Plus, we have some special guests and special giveaways. So grab a beer and kick back with us. I'm Will. I'm Vicky. Jason. Aaron. And I'm Chris. Here's you guys. Prost. Woo! Prost. Prost. Okay, before we get into uh, the beers tonight, I want to introduce our special guest growler. Uh, welcome, Chris Twight, to the to the garage. Thank you. Very uh, this much. is Chris Twight from Liftbridge Brewing. So, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do for Liftbridge? Well, I started with Liftbridge uh, just a short while ago. Uh, before that, I have ten and a half years in the craft beer industry. I worked for a beer distributor, and now I've changed over to working for a brewery. Uh, my primary job is to go around to uh, accounts, both on-premise and off-premise, and make sure that we can maximize, uh, you know, everybody's exposure to Liftbridge, because we make some of the best beers in Minnesota, and we want to make sure that everybody has a chance to try them. So what are your three favorite Liftbridges? Just off the top of your head. My number one favorite is uh, our Farm Girl Saison. Uh, it's a beautiful traditional Saison uh, with Belgian yeast that gives a large spice character in the nose, and uh, super easy drinking on a hot summer day. Uh, my second favorite would probably be our hop dish. Uh, that's our IPA. We brew it with seven different varieties of hops, so you get a nice large bouquet of tropical citrus notes, uh, a little bit slight fruity, and also uh, the, the distinct pine notes that you get from a lot of the IPAs in the marketplace today. Okay guys, before we get into the beers today, uh, Brow Brothers was kind enough to uh, give us some uh, free swag to give away on our show. We got a couple t-shirts, some patches, few keychain bottle openers, so if you are interested in winning some of this free swag, enter in a comment down below, tell us what you like about the show on our YouTube channel. For those of you who are listening on our other channels, such as iTunes and uh, other podcast channels, make sure you come on over to our YouTube, because it's only exclusively on our YouTube channel. Again, leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing, and uh, you'll be entered in to win uh, one of these great prizes. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are going to try something now from Kawina Brewing Company. They're out of Houghton, Michigan. Uh, this is actually their Pickaxe Blonde Ale. Uh, you can see it's got a cute little blonde on the front of it. She's got a Pixax. She looks very dangerous. Uh, so let's crack into this one and see just how dangerous this beer actually is. So the company description of this beer, uh, they say that it is the lightest in their family of ales, that it's a true single malt. Uh, they say that it has a refreshing taste, that it is gorgeous to look at, and it's a great introduction to the extraordinary world of craft brewed Michigan beers. Uh, it's a light golden ale, and it has a distinctive malt flavor and just a kiss of hops. So what do you guys think about this one? I really like it. I think it's a fantastic beer. It's a, you know, a very nice, light, a very light, you know, nose to it, it, nothing overpowering, but then when you taste it, you know, you get a nice effervescence and a nice smooth, uh, almost like a creamy mouthfeel to it. It's it's not super light, it ha does have a little bit of lingering uh, flavor to it with the uh, malt mm -hmm. used in the, in the beer. It's not hoppy at all. No. There's very, very light hops behind this one. But I definitely do get more of that malt flavor definitely, to it. Definitely. Which, that's something that you see a lot more with blonde ales uh, versus uh, pale ale. Is okay. So what what is the difference then between a blonde ale and a pale ale? The, the biggest difference is the amount of hops they put in. But also, usually traditionally in blonde ales, that you do use a, a bit of wheat in the malt bill. Um, not enough to be considered a Hefeweizen or a wheat beer, but they do use a bit of wheat in there to add that little creaminess and also a little smoothness to the flavor. What are some other um, blonde ales that are out there that, that we might see here in Minnesota? There are some really great local ones. Um, Steel Toe Brewery has a great one called the Provider Ale. We also have uh, Badger Hill, their High Road is a Blondale, and then Excelsior's Big Island. So there are some really great options that are very local to us around here. Okay, Well, yeah, this one I can definitely see buying a lot more. Yeah, I think this would, for somebody that doesn't um, do a lot with, with craft beers, I think this would be a good one as yeah, well. Um, just because it does have a very mild um, flavor to it. 
um, easy to drink. Definitely. I, I think that's one of the things that, you know, a lot of uh, traditional domestic beer drinkers kind of shy away from craft beer because mm -hmm. they think that it's going to be overly hoppy and they think that it's going to be really bitter. Uh, because IPAs are definitely, you know, one of the more popular styles and trends going on right now. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a nice gateway beer mm -hmm. to help get, you know, your traditional American lager drinker into something that's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more tasty. And it's easy. It's a 4.7 ABV, so you can drink plenty of these little Michigan beauties and be just fine to go. <laughs> Prost! Prost! Prost. Well, guys, that's all for our episode on uh, spring seasonal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And uh, don't forget, if you want to enter in on one of our giveaways, uh, make sure to leave a comment uh, down on our YouTube channel, uh, down in the comment section, and also click the like button and uh, let us know you're out there. So we're also available out on YouTube, iTunes, uh, Stitcher, and a lot of other podcast directories. And don't forget to visit our blog at BeerPaloma.com. That's all for tonight. Prost. 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 Prost.